Hi, this is Tom Nunnemaker with Aramer Corporation. I had a few questions with the Jim Olson Iron Fly and just putting in, uh, say, a break even iron condor order, stuff like that with the GOAT. The GOAT is the greatest option analysis tool that I built. I had a play on words with the greatest of all time for athletes. Um, I'm on version 1.44. I've been working on it for almost a year, uh, but it's quite useful. It works with Thinkorswim and Excel, so it's pulling in data in real time. <clears throat> now, it's a Sunday, so the option prices aren't quite... Um, tight as tight as they are during the market open. Um, but if we go to the templates page, the Jim Olson iron flies start with the 50 wide and go up to I think about 120. Um, and you can see what the price of that fly is. So if you sold it right now, you get $27.25 credit. Um, if we do a little bit narrower one, say a 30 or 40 wide, we'll get a little bit less credit, but the margin won't be as high. So it's up to you how you want to play it. Um, but just let's just pick one, say the 40 wide, just put your cursor on any any row, click on it and hit load selected row. Now that loads it up into our kind of analyzer area. And if you're happy with it, you set the number of contracts, we're using $3,000 of margin. Let's click on the open button that copied it to the clipboard. So let's go back to Thinkorswim, expand the order entry, actually you have to delete that. And make sure it's on single and hit paste. There's our trade. So if we like it, we can just send it uh, to the, the market. And you know, you can change this to custom iron condor if you want to change the number of contracts or do multiple accounts, something like that. So what else can we do with this? Well, that's um that's the uh the narrow iron fly, and a lot of people do this at the open. Uh, we have quite a few people in our trading room that do that. Now the other way you can do this is on the Condor tab. Um, John Einar Sandvan in Norway has a break-even on Condor. And let's just, just say for the sake of argument, we're going to sell this dollar spread. And uh, that's close to a dollar. So there we go. So say we get a buck 85 for that. Let me just type this in. Okay, so now we've got the uh, the data in here and we can click on create iron condor order go back to thinkorswim and delete this one we don't need it anymore let's just paste this order in and there's our iron condor so after this iron condor gets filled with the break even iron condor you need to set uh, some exit prices so this will be a stop limit and a a limit order. So once the uh, you sell the condor for buck eighty five, um, if you put in an order to once the market price for the calls or the short spreads gets to a buck eighty, put in a, a limit order to close it at two dollars or better. Now the market price would be at one eighty. So hopefully it'll get filled at one eighty, one eighty five. If the market blows through that and just jumps up to like two o five, two ten, then as soon as it hits two ten, this is a stop order and that will be that triggers a market order so you will get out and you probably have some slippage you might get out at 215 220 but you'd have probably about a 20 30 cent loss on that uh, for the position and you'd still have like if the calls got closed you still have the open puts but it's moved pretty far away from the puts and it it reverses and hits both sides of the the trade about four percent of the time but most of the time it doesn't um, and then john also puts in an order to close the shorts at five cents. So if we do OCO, if we click on this button, see we have a bunch of orders now. So if we go back to think or swim and we go to our order tab and now we select, oops, OCO. I gotta delete that one. Let's go OCO and paste. Now this is creating all these orders. So if you look, here's one. And here's another one. Oops, my straight line didn't work there. That's looking better. All right, so what are we looking at? We have uh, this order on the top. That is the uh, the stop limit order. So if the price of the spread gets to 180, then we put in an order to close it at two dollars or better. Now, since it's got triggered at 180, that's about where the price is. So you probably get filled at 180, 185. 
Now if the market blows through that, here's your stop at 210. So if the price of the spread gets to 210, boom, stop order takes you out and it closes the, uh, the calls in this case. And then the third order is to close the shorts only at 5 cents. So that's just a way to take risk off the table as the time passes and the market's moving away from it. So that's the easy way to put these orders in. Just uh, click a button on the GOAT and it generates all the orders for you. You paste it in. If you try and do that by hand, probably take you three to five minutes to do that because you have to put everything in. Um, so anyway, that's it real quick just to show you how to get the orders in quickly using the GOAT. And it uh, works for lots of different trades, but um, you know, primarily I just showed you the, um, the short iron butterflies and also the condor trades with all the OCO orders. Thanks a lot. And uh, if you want to see more, go to airmirror.com. Join us. It's a free trading community. And we do have some paid services like Amy Meisner's A14. We have some great workshops on zero DDE trading, butterfly and condor workshops and uh, other services. But uh, again, it's a free community with tools, guest speakers, forums, all that stuff. So uh, come in and join, uh, join the waters. It's, uh, it's just free and uh, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Bye.